welcome so today I feel a little bit snotty I have a big cold and I thought I'm gonna record a little video to share with you a yoga practice that might help you when you feel the same when you have a cold because it's very tricky to record something like that when we take our breathing for granted and this is exactly what I realized in the last sort of couple of days um, I, I really use the breath as an anchor to settle myself to center to connect with myself and when I'm not able to do that because my nose is blocked or I have any um, other breathing issues uh, I can get really frustrated so I thought I record this session to make sure that when you have a cold, you can relate to it as well. So a couple of things, a couple of props that you need for this um, very short sequence. You can see, first of all, that I've put a blanket over my yoga mat because I like to have it warm and comfy when I don't feel great. I have another blanket over here um, that we will use yet later. I've got two blocks, but if you don't have two blocks, maybe two big blocks um, might do as well. Or you have a stack of pillows and then um, a big pillow that sort of helps you to use in very different shapes or formats. Um, and then most importantly, tissue box, because when we do yoga and we're blocked up, sometimes this releases some of the mucus and we start to cough or we start to sneeze or we just need to blow our nose. So that's the essentials for the session when we have a cold. I'd also like to turn another candle on or light up a little candle um, just to give it that sort of warm feeling as well that we need. And maybe perhaps you want to make a cup of tea, uh, ginger and lemon works really really well so let's get started our first pose is going to be a child's pose so take the knees as wide as the yoga mat and the big toes touch and then you sit down with your glutes onto your heels and what is different with this child's pose in comparison to when you don't have a cold is that I like to prop my head up and especially put my forehead on a solid block or a solid book. So take a couple of pillows and then maybe put a book on top so that you have enough space. And then come forward, put your forehead down and really just relax into the pose. Because I find when I have a cold, I just really struggle to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose. But I also find it difficult to put my head further down. And just relax. Breathe in through the mouth if your nose is completely blocked and out through the mouth. Just feel how the pillows, the block or the books take your weight. But it's absolutely fine to do this in your pyjamas. I chose very comfortable clothes here as well. So it's a bit of a combination of yin and yang today. But not exclusively yin. Take another deep breath in and out. And then slowly push yourself back up. And then bring your knees together and come onto your toes. Sit back on your toes. 
Breathe in, reach up, and then open up into cactus arms. Opening the chest, draw the shoulder blades down. When we have been sick and we've been lying in bed a lot, we can get also really tense and our muscles can tense up from either coughing or sneezing or not sleeping well. With your next breath out, take your hands and interlace them behind your back. And if it's comfortable, you can let your head fall slightly backwards. Really opening up the chest. Take another deep breath in, reach up. And come back down, come back into a child's pose once more. And of course, the most important thing when you don't feel well is to listen to your body. To feed your body anything that it needs. To nurture it. To look after it. I find sometimes that I can get a little bit impatient when I'm sick, when it takes too long. That I can revert back to old negative self-talk. And so this is why it's so important for me to stay connected through my practice. We then come into a tabletop. Drop your belly and then round through. Breathe out. Breathe in, stop. And breathe out. One last time, breathe in, stop. And breathe out. Really dome through the shoulder blades. Press away from the floor, from the mat. And then come back onto your toes. Just gonna pop all the props to one side and then push up into a downward facing dog. Might be quite challenging for your nose or your head. You can always stay in a tabletop. And then really bend your knees generously. And then bring your right foot down between your hands and your left knee comes down to really gently movements and then press through your front foot take your hands to your knees and just stay here for a moment maybe lean into slow lunge to feel that stretch on your left hip flexors. This can be really nice especially if being crunched up in bed. And then breathe out, take your hands down to the mat, press your left hand into the mat and reach up to the ceiling with your right hand. Draw the shoulder blades together, open up the chest. Breathe in, lengthen. Breathe out, take your right hand down, frame your front foot. And then come back and turn your left leg, your back leg, 90 degrees so that your shin is parallel to the back of your mat. And then sink down onto your foot and keep your right foot facing 12 o'clock to the right. And what I quite often like to do here is to just sort of press my right elbow into the knee here 
breathe in, reach up, and then just open up on the left side. Sometimes when we breathe heavily, we can tense other muscles. So stretching our left and right outside of our bodies can be really helpful in relaxing those muscles later on. Bow, take your hands down. And then come and sit down onto your glutes. Stretch your right leg out. Take your pillow or pillows, <laughs> put them over your thigh and then I like to put a block over my pillows. Breathe in and breathe out and then drape your forehead down to your leg. Just let your forehead rest. It's just giving that little bit of support. It should be a nice stretch on your lower back. If this is not so comfortable for you on your leg, you can always take your pillow sort of in front of you here and then play around a little bit with the block or the big book. And then just come down sort of a little bit more diagonally. another breath in and out come back up put your props to one side once more stretch both legs out and then come into a reverse tabletop so press for the hands and the feet and just push up open up your chest maybe let your head hang if that's comfortable depending on your sinuses or maybe you just want to keep it up straight. If you don't feel up for pushing up like that, you can always lower your sacrum. Just stay here and feel into that stretch. And then come back down onto the floor and hug your knees into your chest. So when we don't feel 100%, we automatically slow down. We become more mindful of some of our movements. But even our thoughts, our emotions. And gently take your hands behind your thighs, lift your legs up slightly, and then gently start to rock and roll forwards and backwards. And we meet back into in our tabletop position. And drop the belly and break out arch. Coming to a neutral. 
come back onto your toes and press up into a downward facing dog or stay in your tabletop. Press through the fingertips, the palms, taking any weight off from your wrists and gently bend your legs. And breathe in, step your left foot between your hands, lower down your right leg. And then take your hands onto your knee and press up. Or maybe the side feels a little different because maybe you are somebody who lies more on the left side or more on the right side in bed. And especially when we're ill, we can spend a lot of time lying on one side and so we can feel that there is an imbalance. Breathe in, reach the hands up and then open up into cactus arms. Breathe in, reach up, interlace the hands and then push away to the ceiling. time breathe in and breathe out frame your front foot and then turn your right leg parallel to the back of the mat and then we do the same here so you can see me now from the back or I press my left elbow into my left knee and then I sit down onto my heel Breathe in, reach up, and then stretch over to the left side with your right arm. Breathe in to the into your right side, feel the air filling your lungs and stretch on the right side of your body. You might also feel a nice stretch in your lower back. And with your next breath out, take your hand back down to the mat. Stretch your left leg out. And take your right sole to the inside of your left thigh. Oops. And then you want to might take your props once more. And perhaps this time you want to go straight into a diagonal or you want to have it over your leg. That really depends. Breathe in, lengthen through the spine and breathe out. Take your forehead down to your block, your book, your stack of pillows. And see if you hold any tension anywhere, whether you can let it go. Maybe by this time you need to blow your nose a couple of times or take a moment to clear your lungs. Maybe you have a sip of hot water or hot herbal tea to soothe your throat. Breathe in, come back up. Just 
take a moment here to feel into your lower spine, into your body. I find when I don't feel too well, I slow down more and more with each of those different poses. And sometimes my body can feel heavier and heavier. And stretch out both of your legs. And then lower down onto your back. And then take a block or a book, bring your feet close to your glutes, and then lift up your sacrum for a supported bridge. And you might want to play around a little bit with the height. Maybe the lower height of your block is exactly what you need. Maybe you want to take it a little bit higher. Maybe you find that you don't want anything like that. You just want to lie on the floor of your lower back because it causes you too much pressure in your sinuses, then that's absolutely fine as well. Maybe you start to feel the tension in your head or in your chest becoming stronger and then easing off. For me, that's sometimes a sign that the energy is flowing around. And then I need to start to let go in that area. Sometimes in my head that means that I have too many I should, I should, I should, I should and I can't sentences or I'm not feeling well. Or in my chest, in my heart. I feel that I need to take care of myself. Even better. And then gently release the block or the book and then slowly lower your spine vertebra by vertebra. Take your knees into your chest, but make sure that your whole spine remains connected with the floor. And just take a moment here. Feel into that connection. And then lower your legs back down. And then press your feet into the mat. Lift your hips slightly to the right and then let your knees fall over to the left. And I like to put a block underneath my left leg. And then you can take your hands in a cactus shape, if that's comfortable. Or in a T shape. Just make sure both shoulder blades remain on the floor. And if you find that your head is 
too low down and it puts too much pressure again onto your sinuses, you can take a blanket and just slightly get your head lifted. And that just does the trick by taking away that tension. Breathing, come back to center. Breathe out, just stay here for a moment. And shift your hips slightly, lift them to the left. And then let your knees fall over to the right. And again, you can put a pillow underneath your right leg or a block. find when I'm not so great that I feel some of those poses more intensely. So I don't need to put extra weight on my legs to feel the stretch. Thing. come back to center take the feet out wide and let the knees fall in with each other take one hand onto your belly one hand onto your chest and then just feel into your heartbeat Again, usually when I would do poses like that, when I'm feeling well, I might just feel a slight heartbeat. When we don't feel well, our heart works a lot harder. And so it's more likely that we feel the heartbeat stronger. And slowly take your hands to your side. And I like to set up into a fish pose, a heart opener and also a chest opener. So put some pillows underneath your back and then just lower yourself down. You can either let your head hang heavy or if you're very congested, you might want to put a block or a book or more pillows underneath your head to support it. Let your hands open up to the side. You can stretch your legs out or perhaps you want to bring the soles of the feet together for Supta Bhattakonasana. Sometimes in this pose, I start to cough, I start to loosen up some of that mucus. So even though we might not feel the strongest or the most motivated when we don't feel well, when we're congested, feel depleted. A short little sequence like that can just help us for the day, stretch our body, move some energy so we can get going and feel like that we have connected with ourselves. You can stay here or if you want you can now take all the props away. Mindfully come out of fish 
and then stretch out your left leg, stretch out your right leg. And come into Shavasana. Maybe you want to put a blanket on top of you. And just observe your breath. That's still there, despite the virus, despite the blocked nose. Despite you feeling crappy. Your breath is still there. Supporting you. Providing whatever it needs. Maybe you're lying in bed now, or maybe you want to stay here longer. And please do so. Take as long as you need in this pose. If you want to come out with me, then bring your knees into your chest slightly. Come on to one side, left to right, to your fittest position. And then press yourself back up into a comfortable seat of your choice. And maybe it's in this moment when you realize that you really need to blow your nose because it's now full of uh, congestion. And then when you finish with that, just take a deep breath in through the mouth of the nose. Draw your shoulders to your ears and then roll the shoulders back down. One more time, breathe in, draw the shoulders to the ears and back down. And then just remind yourself that while you might be frustrated in this situation and the way how you feel, that this is temporary and it will pass. It might not be the right time to have a cold. Maybe you have plans. But there is never a right time. But there is always a right time to look after yourself and to take this time to reflect perhaps if there's anything that you can do to take time for yourself. Whether this is through yoga, meditation, to stay connected and to allow your body to heal, to recover. Take a deep breath in, bring your hands to your heart center. Wherever you are in your journey, your snotty nose, with your cold. I hope you have a speedy recovery and you find this useful. I send you love and light and together we bow. Namaste.